hi my name is Sine and welcome back to another video welcome back if you've already been here and hi if you're new so today we're going to be doing my wash day routine i just removed my knotless braids that were in for about two months or so and my hair is definitely in some need of some serious tlc because i'm kind of a very lazy natural so i don't necessarily always do the most for taking care of my hair when it's in braids all i do is just keep it moisturized so my hair needs some love right now surprisingly for about two months of having knotless braids in my hair is not that dirty nor is it that itchy i'm just literally playing around with it even with my scalp i usually used to struggle a lot with some dandruff if i used to do this like literally white flakes would just go all over the place but ever since i started using rosemary oil and peppermint oil my dandruff has really improved but anyway let's get into this wash day the first thing i'm going to go in with is this organic shampoo this is honestly my go-to shampoo it keeps my hair extremely clean and it is actually quite affordable and this tub is huge but obviously it's not going to last that long it's not going to last that long because i do have to mention that for me i have to use quite a bit in order for me to see a good enough lather that's going to make me feel like i'm actually doing something because if my shampoo doesn't have a lather i feel like i'm not actually washing my hair and that it's just like i don't know it's just not working properly so i have to literally make sure that it lathers very well and it does have a very weird texture <laughs> very weird texture but i'm just going to go in with my shampoo and i'm going to focus mostly on the roots of my hair because that's usually where all the dirt and build up lies and while i'm also applying the shampoo i'm also kind of giving myself a little scalp massage making sure that i lift any dirt that is on my scalp because i have not actually given my hair a lot of tlc during these past few months that i've had my knotless braids in so i need to make sure that my scalp is literally a clean canvas so that when i do apply any of my oils that i usually put on my scalp they actually do get to my scalp and not necessarily just sit on a pile of dirt and just accumulate dirt and then it leads to more dandruff that i really just don't enjoy dealing with so i make sure that i clean my scalp i massage my scalp and i'm being very gentle because i do have nails and my nails are currently sharp right now because i did file them to be a little bit more straight so i have to be extremely gentle and once i'm done applying it on my scalp i'm going to just like scrunch my hair up a little bit so that the shampoo can get onto the length of my hair and i do also focus a lot on the back of my hair because i don't know why but they tend to always be a lot of build up when i do my braids so i'm making sure that the back is also nice and clean and it's all covered in the shampoo to make sure that everything gets cleaned well and honestly shampooing my hair in sections makes this process so much easier and it avoids any unnecessary breakage and tangling of my hair and once i'm done with that i'm just going to wash it off i'm finished washing it off and this is the hair that i'm dealing with right now and honestly shrinkage is ridiculous because what happened to the volume that was in my hair literally a clip ago anyway now my hair is nice and clean and i'm really happy with the way that my scalp is looking everything looks clean so i'm going to go in with my deep conditioner and i'm going to apply it on my wet hair i really love this deep conditioner not only because it's extremely affordable but also because it actually works pretty well and is very convenient because usually i make my own deep conditioner but lately i've been a little bit lazy to do that so this one just works really well it is also like a protein treatment and i always need protein after i do braids i prefer to always do a protein treatment right after i do braids to make sure that my hair is strong enough for the next protective style that i do because for me personally i don't like having to deal with my natural hair so i always do styles back to back so i make sure that my hair is strong enough to handle those styles and while i am applying this deep conditioner i'm also going to be detangling my hair as you can see because i don't want to detangle it later and i don't necessarily want to use a comb when i'm doing the detangling process i just find that using my fingers is a little bit more gentle than using a comb because every time i use a comb I use the wrong comb because I can't find my detangling brush <laughs> so using my hands just makes it a much safer and more gentle process on my hair to avoid breakage because my hair does tangle quite a bit. I do truly recommend this deep conditioner because this is the first deep conditioner that leaves my hair so moisturized that I can actually see some sort of curl pattern. I remember for the longest time I never really could see a curl pattern and I didn't really care but whenever I use this deep conditioner I do see a curl pattern which is quite impressive just from a deep conditioner that is quite affordable compared to everything else that I've come across in the market. And once I'm done with that I'm just going to twist my hair and then do the rest of my head. If you have high porosity hair like myself, please do let me know which products that you love using because I think this year I'm really going to dedicate my time into giving my hair more TLC and not chopping it every single time that I do a protective style because I swear every single time I take out a protective style, I'm always trimming the ends. Even if I don't have split ends, I don't know why. I keep doing that and it's obviously stunting my growth. So let me know which products that you like using. And if I was to be lazy and use a comb, this is the comb that I would use. Like this is definitely not the right comb to do the detangling process. But before I use this comb, my finger detangled and I'm just showing you the comb that I was going to use to detangle. And obviously that comb is just not going to work properly. So I'm just going to stick to what is safer for my hair right now. And that is going to be finger detangling.
so i just managed to finish detangling my hair and putting the deep condition all over my head and i missed a little spot at the back of my head not surprising happens all the time i'm going to cover my head with a plastic bag so that it can kind of heat up and make the deep conditioner work a little bit better on my head i always prefer to use a plastic cap i don't know why it's better than the ones that i buy in store so i'm just going to stick with what i know then i'm going to apply a bonnet over it so that it can have more heat circulating in it and i'm just going to leave this on for about 20 minutes and this is how much hair i lost all in all during this wash day routine which is pretty decent i mean we lose 50 to 100 strands of hair every single day so this is pretty decent for having my braids in for about two months and not touching it afterwards and while i'm waiting for the deep conditioner to do its thing i'm actually in a church service right now so this is me doing praise and worship while waiting for my deep conditioner to do its thing okay time's up and now it's time for me to take out this cap my hair is already feeling so so much better it feels moisturized and it feels a little bit stronger than before this is why i absolutely love this deep conditioner it just makes my hair feel so soft now i'm going to wash that off i'm then going to grab my t-shirt to dry my hair but also leave it a little bit damp before i apply my moisturizer i never ever use a towel when it comes to drying my hair because it's always up for a t-shirt rather than a towel a t-shirt is just more gentle and works more efficiently than using a towel because a towel does cause breakage on your hair shaft my hair is feeling so soft right now it is so bouncy as well like i cannot recommend that deep conditioner enough especially if you're on a budget it's the best thing that you're going to do for your natural hair i promise you now it's finally time for me to take off these little twists that i did on my hair and here's my cute little moisturized fro though my little fro is looking a little bit cute i'm definitely not going to leave my hair like this i'm going to do a mini protective slash stretching hairstyle that i do every single time i have my natural hair out so i'm going to go in with my favorite inexpensive moisturizer this moisturizer is called black jig but unfortunately i didn't capture it on screen but i will definitely put it in my description below i have always gone back to this moisturizer whenever i don't know what to use i've tried quite a few moisturizers before but they just don't make my hair feel moisturized enough and I'm going to be using this peppermint oil that I talked about earlier but this one is mixed with a little bit of argan oil so I'm going to use it on my hair shaft and my scalp as well. This brand that I'm currently using right now has many different oils. They have jojoba oil, they have got black castor oil, they've got peppermint oil, argan oil, so many different oils that you can actually mix them all together to make your own little hair growth oil or hair maintenance oil which I think is absolutely perfect because they're so inexpensive and they're just so convenient and they're actually quite good quality. So for my protective style, I just section my hair into four equal parts and then I'm going to take thread and I'm just going to wrap it around the length of my hair. This keeps my hair out of my hands and it also helps me to stretch out my hair without using heat. I don't use heat. Like I probably use heat on my hair maybe once a year. In general, I don't like using heat because I hate the way that it smells and I just don't like the fact that there's something so hot close to my head. So I just would avoid it at all costs. So this protective hairstyle does everything for me, keeps my hair stretched so conveniently you can even go out looking like this obviously if you do it much neater so this is about two days later so now i can actually take out this hairstyle to style my hair and once again i'm not going to be using heat because my hair is already stretched enough for me to actually style it well enough i also don't have any detangling to do because i already detangled previously and look at that look at the, the stretch that i get without having to use heat honestly who needs heat when i can at least get this much length So now I'm going to actually attempt to style my hair in a different way that I've never done before and honestly I don't know who I thought I was because I just knew it was not going to work out. I didn't have enough time to do what I wanted to do and I didn't want to use gel. So I opted to go for like a mini ponytail type of thing, a puff ponytail type of thing. It's now become my go-to whenever I don't know what to do. It's just, it's simple to do and it's just a ponytail. Like you can't go wrong with a simple ponytail anyway. So that's what I opted to do. And that's how my hair looks. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.